everyone. We're here at uh, Cisco Live, and I'm here with Alex Stevenson. Alex, um, is this your first Cisco Live? This is my first Cisco Live, Matt. What do you think of it? Are you having a good time? I'm blown away. I'm having so much fun, and I'm glad to be a part of it. So we wanted to talk to Alex because you have a new video series on YouTube that started. Uh, tell us when it started, and then give us a little information about it. Yeah, it's been about six months now. It's oh, called it's the been. DevOps okay. Shop, and it's an initiative with uh, the DevRel community to uh, sort of introduce uh, the DevOps concepts, tools, and uh, to the community and give them some sort of uh, learning uh, environment where they can practice the skills and uh, have fun while doing so. Yeah, that's awesome. How long are the how long are the videos usually? We try to keep the videos to under ten minutes. Um, the goal is three or four minutes, but you know, I find myself when when I'm building these videos with the team, we just want to pack it full of as much information and content as possible, and it ends up running like sometimes seven or eight minutes, but people seem to enjoy it and they don't mind. All right, so we're talking about demos, we're talking about hands-on experiences, actionable content. Exactly, uh, demos uh, are what the community craves, yep. uh, as, as well as some comic relief sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what people tell me most often is they get a kick out of the videos Sweet. because of the intros or the music we use are fun, we want to draw in uh, all different demographics, you know, and uh, all of the demographics seem to react to uh, the input that uh, Jeff Bull and yourself have given me as well as others such as Ann and Paul Zimmerman about what the community wants to see through these demos uh, and lists and graphs and diagrams and all manner of useful things, DevOps, that they can use in their day-to-day -day life. That is fantastic. So, you know, I've been uh, uh, in the developer advocacy role for uh, with Cisco for you know ten years now or so, and and as a manager of developer advocacy, we see the opportunity for video to be an influencing piece of content for people. So it's exciting that you jumped into the water and said, "All right, we're going to do it. This is going to be the topic DevOps specifically because um, we talk about a lot in this area about automation and programmability, and it's fine to write scripts that automate some of the things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis, but how do we actually put that into an operational pipeline is something that we don't always have the opportunity to talk about because we're always talking about, well, what are the APIs for the products? What are the APIs for um, our, our ability to script those things? And so um, operationalizing, actually tying into DevOps practices is something that we've talked about for a while but really haven't had a consolidated property for. And so I'm excited that you, you brought that to the table. Thanks for saying that, man. And I appreciate the work that y'all have done, the foundation that you have laid in all manner of things in, in, in DevRel and, and, and DevNet, particularly now the code exchange, which makes it much easier for us to share those concrete examples with the community and give them the tools that they want and need. Um, but the tricky thing with DevOps is, DevOps is so much of a culture yeah. as well. So we try to strike that balance of giving them the tools, the, the hard code examples, but at the same time step back and reminding ourselves and them that, hey, this is a culture and we need to make sure that because DevOps is relatively new, we're doing this the right way so that the, the people that come and the f generations to follow will be doing it in the best manner that we can foresee possible. Yeah, that's awesome, and I like that. We should put that tagline out there, DevOps is a culture, and, and really cater to it that. Is, I really like is. that notion and, and idea. So I hope, um, you know, I hope DevOps Shop allows, a, allows that culture to be influenced, and all of the great work that you're doing um, Thank you. is, is, is become ingrained in that culture okay. for generations to come. Okay. Um, check out uh, DevOps Shop on YouTube, on uh, Cisco DevNet YouTube.